Hi everyone, it's your boy Nicavelli. You on Nicavelli TV with my boy G5. Yes, another edition of the G5 Nicavelli TV show when we come together. You know it's going to be a wild one. Talk to me, boy. Let's talk about these motherfucking Knicks. What you seen so far from preseason to our first game. And we're going to uh, dissect the pros and the cons. Talk to me, man. Let's say game one. I think everybody noticed to see something different today. Uh, game one, you can literally say, once quickly went out the game, the Knicks lost their chemistry. Okay. So is it's, it safe to say? It's safe to say that it went out quickly. You see how the Knicks is balling. I ain't got nothing to say about RJ because RJ bust ass. Yeah, hey, what do you have, like 26 points? 28. 28, 5. Eight and 6. Eight assists? Eight and six. Eight rebounds, six assists. Six assists. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Uh-huh. So you can imagine, we're going to see a lot more of that. He's on, he on his Uber Eats shape. He's eating because now he's taking 25, 30 shots. Okay. Tibbs is letting him take those. Okay. The other coaches wasn't letting him get nowhere close to that many touches. All right. And That's Julius Red also busting ass. I was about to he's talk about JR. Ass. He's still, like... He did real good. He almost had a triple-double. Absolutely. So, how do you feel about JR now? There's a lot of talks. People want him off the team because now, they feel... Say, triple, trade him, trade him, trade him, trade him. Cause because he's going to take he's minutes away from OB. OB Toppins. How do you feel about that, man? Do you think that OB needs to be a student of the game under JR? For a couple of months. Let's say by the time trade deadline, let's get rid of him and then get his kid to play. Because you can see how he's running game one. He was just like so trying so hard like literally Obi was trying so hard you can see how he was trying that it was messing him up I mean you get the butterflies your first NBA yeah, game yeah yeah you of know. course I know but I mean, you want to bust that cherry you know yeah and that's what it was you want to bust the cherry yeah. same thing with quickly that's why he got a little injury and he, he got to get his weight up a little bit you know what I mean mm. that, we need it quickly on that court though I don't care what nobody said we need it quickly on that court Okay. Because without quickly, it looked like the Knicks were busting their ass the whole first two halves. Our first whole half. Quickly got injured at the end of the second. They ain't put him back in. They start playing Frankie, baby. And Frankie, Woo! baby, wasn't doing nothing. Talk to me about this kid, Frank, man. I Listen, man. Know. Even Kevin Knox was even fighting hard, nigga. Like Yo, nigga you saw that dunk he tried to go for? I mean, he missed the dunk. He got, he got blocked. Listen, man. But this this is what we're going to do. I, I know, I know, I know a lot of your viewers out there say, Nicavelli, you know what I'm saying, you a hater. Yes, I am a hater. I know a lot of y'all Nick uh, Nick fans say, Nicavelli, you delusional. Yes, I am delusional. I'm a, we're going to start the 2020 year. 2021. 2021, yeah. Look, look at me, man. I'm still a step behind. But when it comes to my Knicks, man, I say shit to big them up. Whether it's true or not. And a lot of y'all need to practice that shit. Because a lot of y'all going around talking about the Knicks suck. And y'all planting this fucking doomsday forest. And the city. I'm not on that type of time, man. So you can't ask me a fucking question like, do I think the Knicks going to go to the fucking finals? My answer's going to be hell's yeah. And then when it happens, y'all can suck me off and be like, oh, Nick, do you predict? Nah, I just have faith. That's what it's called. But proceed. Proceed. And by the way, chill out with that Nicky shit. Go ahead, man. What you got to say, man? <laughs> My boy. They like it. They like it. They nah, I'm just it. fucking with you, man. They love it. They love it. All right, man. They love it. All right, they GG. Love it. All right, GG. All right. All right. GG, baby. All right. All right. If you could be GG, I could be Nikki. Be Nikki. All it. right. All right. The Nikki GG show. All right. The Nikki and the GG show. crazy. All right. That's what it is, man. Only on Nickavelli TV. All right. Ooh. See? Tell me how y'all like that. Okay. But let's get back on one with my boy Frank Frank Nilakina, man. Man, there's nothing to say. Get rid of that kid, man. Get rid of him. You know what? Someone in the comments said, him. you got the nerve to talk about Frank Nilakina. Yeah, I know. When Alfred Payton had the majority of the minutes and he did nothing. Alfred Payton wasn't that spectacular either. Talk no, to me about no, Alfred Payton. No. But Alfred Payton was. He was it quickly. You ain't have no IQ. Now, now you answering my question. Talk to me. It's you okay. You answered it for me. He's not the IQ. Case closed. IQ is... That kid is going to be a star. If we don't see it, and I know the Knicks see it, 
Because everybody in the NBA see the shit. The nigga nickname is already IQ. You only play one NBA game and got a nickname already. Hmm. You got to look at that. Hmm. You got to look at that. And mm. it's a nice one, too. So being that we got IQ, what the hell we need with somebody like Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook? We is the kid that nice that you we could forget about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget that. Do it sound even silly to even for the fact that we was trying to go that route? No. It, 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 we, we, we assume us fans, we want the greatest. We want the best. Because we want to bring people to us. So I can understand why everybody said, oh, yeah. Why we didn't sign this one? Why you didn't got this one? But let me tell y'all, Alonzo Ball might end up at New York Knicks. Talk to me. Now we jumping the ship. No, it ain't jumping ship because Alonzo Ball might not stay in Golden State. Okay. He might not stay there. He All right. really, I don't even think he fits in it. All right. When you have someone like Quickly, and let's say Alonzo Ball was to come to New York, would he be a second unit? Would you start him over quickly if he was to come to the Knicks? If I was the coach, he would have to earn his minutes. Well, that's how Thibs is, is rocking anyway. So, if he earned it, let him have it. That means the other guards ain't working hard enough than what he's working. And we have to put the one that works the hardest because you're going to get the best production from the most hardest working guy. That's just how that goes. So, I say, yeah, fuck that. Let's take that nigga, get rid of Officer Frankie. Even the... the Dennis Smith Jr.? Even him. Get rid of him? him fuck it. You got a nice... I like the five that I say. And I ain't get to see that five play. And I'm kind of aggravated with Tibbs because he should have knew better because all on the internet for, ever since that preseason game when they made that fucking 20 point comeback, that's all the internet was talking about. How the Knicks and quickly come back and you don't put that five back in. That's crazy. But he did do it. That's why they was eating where they were eating. Okay. Julius went crazy, so Topping had to take a step back. Now, when it's... Top is on fire. Is Julius going to step back? That's what we got to see. That's what we got to see. We got to see that part. Like, is they going to let the, each other take turns with the star? Because it's like... So you say it might be like a Carmelo, Linsanity situation all over again? No, no, not like that. Not like in a bad way. See, this is a, actually a good way. The reason why I say a good way, because now we got two people in each position that could do a good job. So it's like... We just slacking on a point guard session when it comes to the second player. Okay. Because if we got IQ, who's going to come in after IQ and keep that offense moving? Okay. Like Ox, like he do. Right. All right. They tried, uh, what's this guy's name? Whatever the, he played the point. He slowed down the whole fucking game when they had him playing the point at the fourth quarter. He slowed down the whole fucking game. They oh, Frank Delacanian? No, not Frank. Frank Alfred? Boy. No, it wasn't even one about? of them. It wasn't even one of them. It was Trey Burke. Uh, what's that nigga name? Alex. Alex Burke or some shit. That I don't know what you're talking about. He, he ran a point. That whole fourth quarter, he ran a point. And the Knicks were slower than the motherfucker. That's why they end up going from a, a five-point or deficit to a 15-point deficit. They couldn't score. There was no movement. Okay. All right. They quickly, uh, Frankie couldn't do nothing. Alfred tried. Alfred tried. The reason why I say Alpha tried, he was moving fast. He was, he was still, the Knicks was looking so fast on that court that it was weird to me. Like, damn, these kids is that fucking fast. Yeah, we got fresh legs. We, like, they, they, they really that fucking yeah, fast. Yeah, we are. Did we, you see how fast they was getting to the hole? Yo, we running like a West Coast team on like, the East. Did you see how? Is it safe to say that? We running like a West Coast team on the East Coast? I know you sucking the Nets. With nah, this Kevin actually, Durant. Actually, I'm not even sucking the Nets. Do you so. think the Nets don't even run the did, way the did, Knicks did you run? you see the Nets last night, though? I saw a little bit. It's hard to watch them, though. I know, but did you see that? Did I, you see what everybody in the comments is talking about? Let's just be, let's just be truthful. Bro. 
Did, did you read the front page of the paper this morning? Bro, it's Christmas. You doing this shit to me? No, man? no, no. I'm just. You really, you really. You doing this front? shit to me? No, I did not, man. Oh, can, man. Nikki, can, can we get through this? I need you. I need you to situation? read the front page of the paper. Tell me what it and, says, man. And, and when you read the front page of the paper, what make, did it say? Make a uh, a uh, 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 a Nikki Nikki Belly on on that one topic. Do a video on that. Do a video on that. I'm telling you, it's gonna get you. See, it's gonna get a lot of people need to hear that. Okay. All right. All so right. we gonna talk about that, and we gonna leave that there. Okay, all right, but moving right along. I asked you, did you watch a little bit of the Nets game? You know why I say that? Because at the end of the day, if our Knicks do not make it anywhere, it's still New York. So what do you mean it's still New York? It's still New York. You know what they said in the paper? It, it made me kind of mad. What they, they said? They said, the New York Nets. Fuck the journalist who wrote that piece of all shit right. article. And it says... The new New York Nets. So meaning that the the Knicks ain't the talk of the town, it's the Nets. And I'm like, how is that? Yeah, not for, when we get no, 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 no. 30, not when I'm gonna tell you 30. why it's like that. Motherfuckers like you. All right. Like me, because if no, it was no, no, like no, because you're going you around have fucking three thousand, four thousand views. Listen, man. Ah, oh, shit. Don't act like Let's you did that it. shit by Let's yourself. Get Let's get you hear I this said shit? We. Oh, oh, okay. See, I'll take that to back. What I said. Okay. I yeah. said we won't have three thousand views if it was like that. Okay. So, all right. One day we gonna come. We are gonna sit here and we are gonna talk about them bum ass nets and we are gonna see if we can get those views since they the kings of New York. And you know they're not the kings of New York. Oh shit! You talking like? I'm just telling the truth. That's what I was trying to tell you. No, no, no. What I was just telling you that day was, look at the Nets. I need you to take a look at the Nets. Don't worry about our Knicks. We know what our Knicks could do. We need to start looking around our competition to see what we... Listen, man. And we can't always Listen, just... when, when, when the season progressed, Mr. Snap Crackle Pop, yes. a.k.a. Cupcake, a.k.a. Okay. Mr. Keep Emotional, saying. Keep saying. aka Mr. Twitter Fingers, keep saying he's that. going down, man. Listen, that. is it safe to say that the whole team on the Knicks play a defensive game now under Coach Thibbs? Yeah. All right. You, you, well, let's hold that thought. But what now, wait, wait, do, wait do don't say nothing. Do Listen, for? man, the camera's on you, bro. I'm asking you the question. I, is the reason why I'm asking you this question, man. If everybody on the Knicks play defense okay. and we come against the Nets, Okay. Right? Okay. And Cupcake okay. got to guard somebody. Okay. Or he got the ball. Okay. And who's we guarding? did him. And who's our defense guarding? is impeccable right and who's now. who's guarding him? I don't give a fuck who's guarding him. Everybody play defense. Okay. Which is the reason why I understand okay. why we still holding on to Frank. Because Frank should no longer be the motherfucking highlight of discussion when we talk about a defensive player. Coach Stem's got everybody playing defense now. So Frank is not doing nothing spectacular. Yo. Now, moving right along, if we got somebody Time playing out. defense. Time out. Wait. Wait. Whistle. Technical foul. Yeah. Or Nick. Yeah. You know why is it a technical foul? Talk technical to me. Technical foul, people. Talk, talk, talk to me. This is the first time I ever heard Nicky Valley talk about Frank Nilakina saying he needs to go. Everything is, yo, we need Frankie. Man, are you nuts? That's what you was always saying. Are you nuts? Now you saying that. Are you nuts? Now. When you read the comments, everybody going to let you know that you are nutty. No, they going to tell me. Nah, that. because I never liked the Frank. No, everybody you, you knows. talk about Officer Frankie. Yeah, but I said Officer Frankie, meaning that the, he's good for defense and nothing but, else. But, he's good for locking people down. That was Officer nothing. Th that's Officer Frankie. Yeah, that's Officer Frankie. I didn't even but like now that. we got a whole bunch of officers. We got a goddamn precinct on the goddamn team. Everybody got handcuffs. What is this man going to do that's going to stand out as a point guard? Because Coach Dibbs is letting it be known, Frank, you're not that special anymore concerning the, the, the no, playing he's still defense. Love, he's still love Everybody he on Frank. the Knicks play defense. Let's talk about my boy Mitchell Robinson, man. My boy Mitch. I felt the rest was a little bit hard on him. He didn't get foul trouble that same. That yeah, was actually, yeah, yeah. No, actually, but I've seen, seen a couple of fouls that he shouldn't have got caught for I mean, fouls. I mean, but... And there was a couple of fouls they gave him that he didn't get. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a couple of them that literally that, that was a fouling. But it's, this time he's learning way more. He's using his hands more and less of his body. Well, more of his body, less of his hands, should I say. Yeah.
because he wasn't in foul trouble this game. Okay. Well, and to be first, actually, Julius was the one in foul trouble. But listen, let me get to my, th my thought before I miss it. Kevin Durant. Whoa, whoa. When it comes time for him to guard, okay. he's going to do that crossover move. Okay. And that's where that crack snackle pop okay. going to come, man. And, and listen. You, and you really think. No, just one thing. Because I'm going to say this. Because you, you, you're taking away from the top, one of the top five players in the NBA. None of them young boys going to be able to think. They, there's no, no comparisons from a KD to anybody on the Knicks. Let's be truthful. Listen. No, no, no. That's no. one player. No, no, I'm, I, well, I'm, I'm talking saying, about team unit. See, I'm just saying. We I'm got just, a bunch of piranhas to that one shark across right, the what bridge. You, what you think? Who's going to stop him? That's like saying the Knicks can stop LeBron James. No. This is how you stop. All you do is put hard defense on said? him. That's like saying the Knicks can stop LeBron James. Just because we play defense don't mean that we can stop it. There's certain players, no matter what defense you're playing, you're not going to stop them from scoring. Listen, you, I'm not saying you're going to stop them totally. one of those players. Niggas seven feet with an eight-foot fucking wingspan. What the fuck they going to do with that? You gotta, We got to look at that. We can't put motherfucking uh, uh, Mitchell Robinson on him. That's the only closest person that's wingspan and height. This is what I mean. And that nigga moves. So it's a different... The nigga moves like a guard. But he's a fucking... Supposed to be a center in the NBA. Not no motherfucking small forward. So, we can't sit there and say anything about his gameplay. Listen. All right, he's on the bum-ass nets. Cool. Granted. The nets came and they took over our city. Granted. But we're not going to sit here and keep saying, the Knicks better than KD. So the whole team going to guard him? Because that's the only way they're going to stop him. Because you're making it seem like the whole team, the whole New York Knicks, is going to guard one man. No, I'm making it. Seem like the they ain't got no guard. So if we play the Nets. I can't wait to the first Bro Brooklyn, New York game. I can't wait for it. Listen, the Knicks, it's not the same team. They're not the same. team. All right, but it's going to so, take them at least twenty games before they even get the before Tibbs feel comfortable with any physical lineup that he's putting together now. Why? Because it's all you keep hearing them keep saying is the same thing. There was no summer season. There was no, we ain't have, we had the shortest preseason. It looks like he's taking like the first five games or, first, or he probably, and his, his whole coaching staff is like, all right, these first 10 games, guys, matter if we win or lose, I'm not stressing those. After this 10 games, we better be on a certain level. And we need to be at a certain level by these 10 games. Because you can tell, that first game, Tips is calm like a motherfucker. You only got tight, like, what, twice? Yeah. And normally, by that third quarter, I was getting pissed off. I'm looking at Tibbs like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nigga, you don't call a timeout? You don't see us this, you don't see us this, just going lower and lower? Like, nigga, the, the ball stopping. There's no dribbling. They, they stuck with the ball. They keep turning it over. They shooting shots, missing, not getting a rebound. There was no coming back from that. And it's like you can see it because then you look at the bench, everybody's just sitting there. So then it, look, it started looking like the old Knicks. You see, it started looking like us old Knicks again. And I was like, God damn it, don't let this shit happen. And it happened. And we got our ass bust. But I still take from that ass whooping that we took from a good ass Indiana squad, like I told you. Remember, we talked yeah, yeah, about yeah, Indiana. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just say Indiana. Say, I said Indiana. It's we, a defensive team. It's a defensive team, and we got to play Indiana. I didn't even know we was playing Indiana our first game, bro. That's the whole funny shit. I didn't even know we was playing Indiana the first game. So when I watched the guys, I said, oh shit, we're playing against the one team that I said that when we, after the preseason, if we see these guys and we see what we about. And we, I realized what it is. It's IQ. I'm sorry. It is IQ. Yeah. And it's crazy how one player brings yeah, so much Yeah, because he spaced energy. the floor out. He brings so much. No, he just brings so much energy. It's like they just extra hype when he's on the So floor. let me ask you this. If IQ was starting. Didn't he start game one? Because I didn't see the beginning of the game. I think that outfit started. I'm not sure. That was the wrong move right there. But let's say that. IQ wasn't hurt. 
Well, because I believe he's not hurt. He's not injured. No, he's not injured. He, he just, just hurt himself. Right. So if he was playing the point from start to finish, we they probably would have won that game. Uh, okay. I know that. I know we'd have won that game because that was a quick, quickly would have gave us a quick extra fifteen points, fifteen to twenty points. Like we gotta look at that. That extra fifteen to twenty points was that deficit. That was that game. Okay. You know what I mean? So that deficit was his points because he dropped what? 16? Something like that. He dropped 16 easy. And he ain't even played the second half, bro. Okay. So we got to look at that. He only played like 12 minutes out of the first whole half. And he dropped 16, had what, four or five assists, a couple of rebounds. I ain't really looked up the stats yet. but So we got to analyze that to analyze what happened when he's off the court. And when he's off the court, the Knicks go back to the old Knicks. No matter what Tibbs is teaching, they go back. And they went back. Because you see them. You see the only one that looked it like an animal was RJ. Like Julius and RJ. Bro. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I, I was like, yo, man, you see, like, his confident level. He's beast mode. He's, he's mad like, that he ain't get and, that money. And, and, and everybody's saying the same thing. You can tell. He got he a chip on his shoulder. Something to prove. Yeah. And it shows so hard that this boy's balling the way he's balling. I like how Toppin ain't scared to take the three point shot, even though he missed five of them back to back. He still had the confidence, but then after a while, he lost his confidence. And I don't like that. I need him to keep his confidence and don't give a fuck if he's missing. And. Coach Tibbs left him in the game so he could understand that. You need to understand this. You're going to have these moments. And I heard Julius talking to him on the side like, yo, don't worry about it. About Just continue. Talking doing. to Ovi, right? Yeah. Continue doing what you've been doing. Now, what do you want to say to these? Now, this is what's delusional. Yeah. I talk about I'm delusional. Yeah. Motherfucker saying that Ovi's trash. I'm reading on the social media talking about due to his first game performance. Oh, because the first game performance, it looked at... They analyze his first game performance, but I analyze his first game performance as he was anxious. And he was trying to prove himself. And he was trying too hard. Like you could tell he was thinking. He was using his mind, not using his skills. You could tell because he hesitate. He, he want to take the jump shot. He's like, I'm a mess. Let me just dish it off. Or I'm going to the hole. Or he might block me. Let me dish it off. Because you had the best blocker. I mean, come on, turn, turn the stand in there, 13 fucking blocks. He was blocking everything, nigga. Right. So, 13 blocks, I, I was fucking, the fuck, 13 blocks. Yeah, 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 he went in, he like, went in. He broke his own fucking record. Yeah. Like, okay, you had a triple-double from fucking blocks and rebounds. Where we do that at? I hear you. So, if Toppin look at that and just be like, yo, damn, I just had to go against some, a very tough defensive team. See, that's what we need to understand. That's why I say Indiana before, because they are defensive and they're fucking young. Just like we young. Now, first half, we was running them out the fucking gym. Because IQ was on the court. Right. There's nobody that fast that can move like he moved at the point. Alfred Payton, no matter what they tell him, no matter what they teach him, He's not going to change his game. Alpha Payton is Alpha Payton. He's 28 years old, 27. He's already stuck in his ways. He already made this is his third contract. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the extensions. Yo, Kevin Knox got an extension. But Frankie no, didn't. But Frankie didn't. No, he didn't. You didn't see the interview? Oh, man. I'm going to send you a link to that interview. Let's talk about the interview. The, 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 it, it was funny because they asked him, uh, you know, they, they literally asked him, like, did, how you feel about not getting the extension? He said, I guess I got to work for it. But he don't really care. He don't care. That's the problem with him. He don't care. He don't care, bro. It That's the problem. He, he was smiling like it was a joke. Nigga, I would have been pissed the fuck off. That's the fucking problem with Frankie, man. I would have been pissed off. I'm ready to take his handcuffs away, man. Because everybody on the Knicks got handcuffs and play defensive games, man. Frank Nilakina, I'm going to need you to give up your badge, man. Straight up. I can't even call him Officer Frankie no more. No more spill milk for Frankie. <laughs> I can't even call him That's Officer Frankie, Frankie right no now. more, man. That? Yeah. That cold coffee. <laughs> and with that being said, it's your boy Nick Avelli. It's your boy G5. We off this. Subscribe. Hit them like buttons. Send that out to all your friends like I did the last time. And peace. We love y'all. We out. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button, people.